All right, guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to finish the home page of our application. So last video, like you guys remember, we built this navigation bar. So now we're just going to add some products in here that we can click on them and just add them to cart. Um, OK, so one thing that I actually want to do in here is if you guys remember before in the last video, we just created this component called home. Um, I actually want to call this component a navigation bar, okay? Because that's going to be a navigation bar that we have in there. That's what we built last video. Um, so I'm just going to put in here a nav. I'm going to call this like nav bar, okay? So this is the name of my. I actually can call it. I don't need it to be all capitals. So I'm going to put nav bar in here. Obviously, I need to call it in here on the top when I'm importing. I'm going to call nav bar, okay? And then I'm going to import this from where? From our components folder and from our home.js. I don't want to call this home.js anymore. So I'm going to rename these to navbar.js, okay? So I need to import this in here, components, and then navbar. If you guys want, you can add the .js, but you know, React uh, understands if you just put something like this, just navbar. Okay, so once this is done, let me just uh, uh, do a, another npm start, make sure that my code is still working fine. Uh, and it is. So right now, inside of my components, I'm going to actually now create a home component. So home dot js and now uh, let me see if i can do no so i'm just going to create a functional component so i'm going to do a const uh, i'm going to call home okay uh, i can just create it as a function so like this down here i can just do export default home just as usual our functions in React, they need to have a return, of course. So I'm going to put in here a return. OK, so this is whatever we want to return. And on the top, just as usual, I'm just going to copy this. We need to import React from React. So I'm going to put this in here. Let's save this. OK, so right now I'm just going to put something inside just saying like, for example, an H1 saying uh, this is the home, the home page. OK, so I'm just going to put some H1 in here. Now on my app.js, I'm going to go in here on the top and I'm going to do import, import uh, home from and I'm going to do uh, dot slash because it's on the same directory level like I told you before we're going to go inside of components so components uh, then I need to go inside of the components and which will be home okay you can put home.js if you want to okay now that I have this home I can actually just use it down here as a component OK, let's see if this is showing. Look, this is the home page. All right. So if this is done, it means that we can just build the rest like really, really easy. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's jump back in here. Let's go into our home.js and let's get started. So first of all, let me just get rid of this H1 because I don't need it. I'm just going to start in here with a div uh, with a class. OK, I don't know if I mentioned on the previous video, but in React, if you want to pass in a class like a CSS class, you need to use the keyword class name just because class is a keyword reserved for JavaScript. OK, and we are writing down this that looks like HTML, but it's not. It's called JSX. So I'm going to call this um, class container because this is going to be the container for um, all our products. And in here, I'm just going to put a div with a class name of image. OK, and uh, I'm just going to copy these maybe like two or three times. So but let's just put this inside some things. So first of all, I'm going to put an image. So image source. OK, so this is where the image is coming from. I'm going to show you in a second how you can do it. 
Then you can have an alt, for example, what if the image does not display on the page, it can display this uh, alt text. Okay. And uh, what else do I need in here? Uh, on JavaScript, whenever you use a, an image element like this, you need to make sure that you use this forward slash in the end. This is another one of these restrictions from JSX. So after that, I'm just going to create in here an H3. This could be, for example, for the title of the product. So I'm just going to put in here, for example, a gray T-shirt. And down here, I'm going to put another H3. This could be the price, for example. So I'm going to put like $15. 15 Okay. And finally, I'm just going to put a Ahref. Okay. Uh, this is not going anywhere right now, so I'm just going to put this hashtag in here. Um, and then I'm just going to do um, add to cart. Okay. Right, so I, I think, I don't remember exactly, I think I, I have like four products. So I'm going to copy these like four times. So let me just see how does it look like. At the moment, if you guys can see, I'm going to try and make some... I'm not sure if you guys can see even with this zoom, but uh, I'll try to make sure that you guys can see it well. So at the moment, we got all these four products. There is no CSS or anything. Don't worry about that right now. First thing I want to do is, obviously, I want to put these images. So in React, if you want to use some images, you need to import them. Okay, import them from somewhere. So in here, by the way, right now, I have... Um, a folder with these images. I'm not sure. Did I put this on the last video? I think so. Uh, so I have these images in here now. So I can import them from here. So I can just go in here on the top and do an import. Uh, if I, I don't remember, like I said, if I didn't put these images on the last video, you guys can just create a folder called images and just paste in the images that you want. Uh, and then I can just say, for example, import. And then I'm going to call this one, for example, let's see, gray t-shirt. So I'm going to say gray uh, t-shirt. And then from, okay, where do I want to import this from? So we are writing down our code, if you guys remember in here in home.js, inside of the components folder. So I need to go one level up. So I'm going to do dot dot slash. This is how we go one level up. Then we should be in here in this level of components. I need to go inside of images. Okay. And then I want to grab, for example, this one that says gray t-shirt.jpg. So gray t-shirt.jpg. Okay. Now that I imported this image with this name, I can actually use it in here on this source. For that, I need to use these curly braces. I'm going to paste this name, gray t-shirt. And now I'm also going to put like an alt text saying, uh, for example, gray t-shirt. If, if this is not going to show up for some reason. Okay, let's click this. Let's see. And there it is. Look, this is the first image that I wanted. Okay, I'm going to copy this four times because now I want the black. Okay, black t-shirt. I'm going to import it from this black t-shirt as well. Okay, so black t-shirt and then I'm going to have some hoodies. So I'm going to do gray hoodie. I think that's how I have it. Yeah. So in here is going to be gray uh, hoodie. And finally, I should have a black hoodie. So black hoodie from black hoodie, black hoodie dot JPEG. And this should be fine now. Okay, so let's replace these names. So I'm going to grab this black t-shirt is going to be uh, in this one. Okay, so let me put in here, of course, the name uh, black t-shirt. Uh, this black t-shirt is going to be $10. Then uh, I'm going to grab this gray hoodie. So I'm going to paste it in here where it says uh, this one. So I'm going to put a uh, gray hoodie. OK, 
Okay, uh, didn't put the black t-shirt. Black t-shirt. SH, okay. The price of these uh, gray hoodie is going to be 25. And then I'm going to have finally the black hoodie. So I'm going to copy this. Paste it in here. Put this one as black hoodie. Uh, I need to update his name. Uh, gray hoodie. Uh, this is going to be black. Black hoodie. And finally, I'm going to put this one as $30. Okay, with the add to cart, this should be fine. Um, okay, can't resolve images black hoodie.jpg. Let me see. Black hoodie. Uh, ah, because I put double. O in here and should be not double O but double D black who how do I have this I think it's like that okay now it's fine look I got um, let me just take this zoom out so I got this uh, gray t-shirt I got this black t-shirt I got this gray hoodie and this black hoodie okay all of this is done the only thing that we need to do right now is just give it a little bit of styling so I'm going to open my app.css just under here of this card. Like I mentioned before, guys, this is like a, a, um, a React. And I'm also going to do some Redux in here. So I'm not going to spend too much time with these um, CSS. I have it in here on the side. So I'm just going to paste it and I'm going to explain it as I'm going through. So let me just see in here. I got this card A. Uh, where is it? Okay. So. The first thing that I want to do is I'm going to paste it in here. Let me just get rid of this one. So if you guys remember, we have a container. Okay. Let me go back in here, which is this div. I want to set up the display of flex so I can justify all the content to be centered on the page. I'm going to use a flex wrap wrap. So if there are too many products and they go outside of the... Um, of the browser I want to wrap into the next line. I want to give a margin top so it uh, spaces out our um, our products a bit from the top and I'm also going to give it a padding bottom. Okay, so this is like two things in here. Okay, so this is how it looks like at the moment. So looks quite good, no? Looks quite good. Um, but I'm also going to put some space in between them. But at the moment this looks nice. So this is the only thing that I added in, um, in uh, comparison to the previous video. So after that, I'm going to give in here some stylings to our images. So my images, if I'm not wrong, let me just see my images. Uh, where is it? I got in here. I need to pass on my, I got class name of image on all of them. So this is fine already. So I'm just giving a margin right and left. Okay. I'm going to give an overflow of hidden if this is going outside. I'm just going to show you why in a second. And a position of relative. So let's just refresh. Look, now they are nicely spaced out. Okay. Now, why am I putting this overflow and this position relative? That's because... Um, let me just open in here my app.css again. I'm going to click on my add to cart. Okay. If you guys remember, we have in here this ahref. We need to give it a class name. Class name of add to cart. Okay. So I'm going to copy this class name of this add to cart everywhere. I think that's what I have. Uh, that's fine. Add to cart. Just going to put this one in here and this one in here. Some space. Okay. Now I'm actually going to copy this CSS styling that I have in here. Okay. I'm going to add to cart. So I'm going to set it as a position absolute. I'm going to give it a 100% a width of the parent. I'm going to set the background color to be dark gray. I'm going to set some transitions in here. I'm going to set the opacity to be zero. So when is going to be there, you're never going to see it. 
uh, cursor pointer text align center so very basic at the moment you can't see the add to cart button okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, whenever I hover my one of my cards so let me just do in here copy this so whenever I'm gonna hover one of these images let me just show whenever I hover one of these images I'm going to access if it's the card 1, if it's the card 2, card 3 or card 4, which we don't have at the moment. I'm going to put it now. So class name of add to card and card 1. Okay, so this is the first card 1. Then this is going to be the card 2. Then this is going to be the card 3. And finally, this is going to be the card 4. Okay, we got all of this. Uh, now, let me go back to the CSS. What I'm saying is, I want to be uh, bottom because if you guys remember in here on the top, we, we didn't have like nothing. So I just want to push it up a little bit. I want to set the opacity to be one, some padding around and the text decoration to be none. Okay, so look at this. Look at this, how nice. You see, you are hovering. Whenever you hover the product, now you get this kind of styling. Uh, and I think that's it. I think that's it for this video. I don't want to make it too long. Now you can see that you have this button, okay? That is just showing up when we hover the image. And then in the next video, we are actually going to start adding some functionality. I think with Redux, I think we're going to do some Redux in here now. Uh, I'm just going to click in here on the add to cart and then we're going to see in here on the top this cart to see how many items we have in there. Um, and yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Just as usual, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.